Hello, welcome to Bromtech Engineering. My name is Indino Nsongo and today I'm going to take you through a study of how to determine the area of steel that you have provided in your columns, beams and slabs. Whenever we design uh, structural elements, we normally design for a minimum area of steel and we provide an area of steel greater than the minimum we have determined from the design code we have used in our design. So um, today I will guide you through how to use the bar numbers and the pass spacing to determine the area of steel of the bars that you have provided. So um, please come with me as we study together. In columns, we normally provide a number of bars whose area is determined from the column cross section. And as uh, uh, shown here, you have a column having four 16 millimeter bars. And when we cut a cross section, we only use the bars that we have cut in that section. And in this case, we have only cut the 16 millimeter bars. And from observation, we have the eight millimeter bars, which are our links that are used to hold the bars together. And these ones are not normally used in the determination of the area of steel of the bars of the column. So our 250 by 200 mm column has four 16 mm bars, two 16 mm on one side and 16 mm on the other. So um, today I'm going to show you how to determine the area of steel from such. Uh, but from observation, this is how you get a section from your column. Secondly, we move to beams. In beams, we provide a number of bars whose area is from the beam cross section. But we normally have to specify the top and the bottom bars separately. This is because they are both used for different functions, i.e. the top is used for hooking moments and the bottom is used for deflection. So in our beam, we have two 16 millimeter bars at the top and three 16 millimeter bars at the bottom. That shows that we needed more bars for deflection than for hooking. Therefore, we need to specify this differently as from differently. And again, we do not use the shear links for determination of the area steel of steel provided in our beams. In slabs, we normally provide for reinforcement in terms of spacing in millimeter squared per meter length of a certain cross section. Slabs are normally designed per meter length. And uh, from observation, you can see the bars are arranged and the bars that you have cut in that cross section are the ones you count. So for instance, if we have a 10 mm bar spaced at 200, you have one, two, three, four, five, six bars. But from observation, you realize that the bars at the edge are half of the bar is in our section that we're designing and, and half is in the other section. The same case happens here. So we reduce the bars by one. So by counting, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And when we reduce the one, uh, which is a summation of the half that is out and the half that is out, we have five bars. So those are the ones we use to determine the area of steel in that um, club cross section. Um, in, uh, generally, the area of steel is determined by the cross sectional area of one steel bar multiplied by the number of bars. And the formula is pi d squared divided by 4 multiplied by n, where d is the diameter of the bar and n is the number of your bars. For instance, if we have 16 millimeter bars, one bar, you apply the formula and you obtain 201 millimeter squared of uh, area. If it's two bars, the formula is the same, but uh, at n, we multiply by 2, and the same case is for 3 and for 4 bars. So from, from observation, our column uh, earlier on, the one we had shown, we had four 16 millimeter bars. That means their area was 804 millimeter squared. And the three bars uh, we had in our top or uh, bottom part of our beam were bearing an area of 603 millimeter squared. So this is the general formula to use whenever you are determining that area of steel where is the diameter of the bar and n is the number of your bars for example i have mentioned this but let me take you through quickly if a column has four 16 millimeter bars its area of steel is you get four bars and then you get the formula pi d squared over four where d is the diameter of your bars so it's pi multiplied by 16 squared divided by four multiplied by the number of bars at that cross section that gives you 804 millimeter squared. In a beam, 
we have two 16 millimeter bars at the top and three 16 millimeter bars at the bottom. As mentioned earlier, the formula is the same. It's only the number of bars that you change and the diameter of your bars. So it is pi multiplied by the diameter squared divided by four and the number of bars to get 603 for deflection at the bottom. And for the top bars, the formula is the same and it results uh, 402 millimeter squared. In slabs, the area of steel is normally determined from the slab cross section per meter length. An appropriate bar spacing is normally assumed from which the number of bars is computed. For example, if we have 200 millimeter center to center spacing uh, at a section of uh, a meter length, to determine the number of bars, we take the total section dimension divided by the center to center spacing, we get five bars. Ideally, we are supposed to use five bars, uh, six bars, but uh, half of the bar at the edge falls on the other section, so we use five bars to determine our area of steel. If we have a spacing of 150, what happens? The number of bars used is 1000, which is the uh, total section dimension, divided by 150, which is our spacing to get 6.67 bars. And you realize this is a fraction and we cannot have a fractional bar. Because our bars are tied center to center, we actually use this fraction in the determination of the area of steel. So since the bars are fixed center to center, we do not truncate or round off these bar numbers. We just use it as they are as fractions. In uh, For example, if this slab has 10 millimeter bar space at 200 center to center, the area of steel is determined as shown here. Uh, first of all, you determine the number of bars and then you apply the same formula. Remember, our diameter is 10 millimeter bars and then you get 393 millimeter squared per meter length. And that is how we design slab elements. That is slabs, uh, raft foundations, pad foundations and all elements that are built as slabs. And uh, here with me is a table. I have prepared this table to help you. Such that if you want to determine the area of steel and you have the total number of your bars and the bar diameters, you can get the area of steel. For instance, these are the bar diameters and this is the number. If I have four 16 millimeter bars as I uh, did in my columns, then I can get four and then look for 16 and I will get an area of 804 millimeter squared. If I have 10 millimeter bars spaced at 200, from my computation, I had five bars at that section and my computation gave me 393 millimeter squared. Uh, we also have another table with bar spacing and bar diameter so that you do not have to do the math of determining the number of bars whenever you have spacing. Therefore, if I have my bars and the number of bars, I can get the area from this table. This one also shows us the weight of the steel bars per meter length. Uh, 16 mm steel bars have a weight of 0 0.222 um, kilograms, that is per meter length. 8 millimeter bars have an, uh, a weight of 0 0.395 kilograms, and so on and so forth. We have also done a, a video on how to determine the weight of steel bars per unit length. And we had the formula of uh, uh, that was d squared L over 162. So kindly, uh, you can subscribe to this channel and check out our videos where we have done how to derive this. So uh, you can use this table from bars uh, from 6 millimeters to 40 millimeter uh, in diameter. The second table is the table uh, uh, similar to the one above, but with this one, we have bar spacing in, instead of bar numbers. So if I have uh, 6 millimeter bars spaced at 75 millimeters, center to center, then I have an area of steel of 377 millimeters squared. If I have 16 millimeters spaced at 250, then I have 804 millimeter squared. Therefore, from observation, you can see that this table and this one are interrelated because if I have uh, 16 millimeter bars, which are four in number, I have 804 millimeter squared and 16 millimeter bars based at 250, I have 804 per meter length. So uh, 
this is how you uh, determine them from the table uh, the spacings run from 75 millimeters to 500 millimeters and the bar diameters are from bar diameter size 6 to bar diameter size 40. So uh, that is all for today. Hope you have learned something. Kindly subscribe to this channel and press the bell icons for notifications in the future. And please welcome your friends, share the video and uh, come and commune with us as we study structural engineering. Thank you and may the good Lord bless and keep you. Adios.